Welcome to Kingdom Faith International Christian Center, where we are providing knowledge to build people with the heart after God. Please join us as we study God's Word today. It said we have our access, entrance, introduction by faith into the grace. Now we have grace. Then it, it, in quotations it says, the state of God's favor in which we firmly and safely stand, let us rejoice and exalt in our hope of experiencing, somebody say payoff now. Payoff. It says experience and join the glory of God. Did y'all get that? One more scripture we're going to look at. I'm almost done here. Are y'all getting this today? Turn to Proverbs chapter number 28 and verse number 20. I read this and I said, you know what? That is so true. And we're going to talk about this just in a few minutes. When you're there, say amen. The scripture says here, Proverbs is a good book to read. Got a lot of wisdom in it. But Proverbs 28 and 20, it says, a faithful man. Let's stop there for a minute. Faithfulness is another word for steadfastness. It says here, a faithful or steadfast person mm -hmm, shall abound. The word abound means increase and overflow. And it says, well, increase with what? Blessings. Did y'all see that? Uh, this word talking about blessings, it, went, it simply means when God puts his preference on you, how you should live. And when God puts that on you, that means whatever you face in this world that's negative, because remember, that world is set on the negative aspect of how we need to live. The positive comes through Jesus Christ. And now because of that, we have God the Father on our side, but yet we're still in the world. And now the things that hit the world, they don't really uh, hit us the way it hits the world because we now have victory over the circumstances that normally happens. Can y'all say amen? amen? Now, with that, we are designed to experience that. Now, the scripture says here, the prerequisites to get not just the blessing, the blessing, but the blessings, the, the, the continual blessing is through our faithfulness. Now, this is true because when you begin to look at how God is really looking to, to establish something within each believer, which is, has to be a, be a steadfastness. Tell somebody to say, be steadfast. Now, God will never tell you to be steadfast if there's not a reward tied to it. Amen? So now it says here, this is what this is going to shift a little bit. It says here, but a faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Did y'all hear that? Now, in the Amplified, it reads this way. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he who makes haste to be rich at any cost shall not go unpunished. Why did that scripture say that? Because the world is stuck on money. The world's stuck on money. The more money I have, the more successful I have. That's the equation that they have. Amen? But see, they don't realize that you just focus on money. You have now built an idol. You have lifted up money more than you've lifted up God. And God says, I cannot be in the program because now you're going against my word. And even though you want money because you need money. But you need God more than money. Is that all right? Because God has a way of bringing the money to you without you giving up your life. Amen? The porn industry today is recruiting young people in Las Vegas out of college. Young girls. And the, the, the promo to get them attached is, is that this will, listen, this will help pay for your college education. Put your nakedness on, the, on display and we will pay you and it will help you with your college education. See the deception in that? See, because here the Bible says that if we're faithful in our relationship with God, blessings come. Now, if you want to know what the blessings are, you have to look at Matthew 6 chapter. Don't look there now, but look at it a little later. And the blessing is not so much what we receive. The blessing is that God is our father. And because he's our father, we don't have to sell out to what the world says to get finances and resources. 
Come on, am I talking about? The Bible says, listen, it, it, it says give and it shall be given unto you. Come on. He didn't say money. We say money. But God said, you give me your time, I give you more time back. Come on. God said, you know what? Anything, everything with God starts with him asking you to do something. Because that, that's how he tests your faith. And then your faith should produce obedience. And when obedience kicks in, heaven stands up and says, you know what? Get down there and bless that boy. Get down there, get down there and bless that young lady. That's why it was that word I gave you. Because you know what? You didn't give up. You could have said, I ain't coming back. You could have started walking backwards. And then it would have got worse and worse and worse and worse. Because it, it gets worse when you go backwards. But when you're walking faithful with God, you cannot remain unemployed in a world that says you can't get a job. Because why? God will bless you with the job. And if you're not careful, some people have gravitated to the point and believe it to the point, I want to start my own business. And now they have the mindset, you know what, I believe God. Every time in scripture, when I looked at somebody that got deliverance, they were believing God for something. Not in heaven, but something that God can tangibly do here in the earth that brings us to another point of reference to show that I did not do this by myself, but God has helped me and brought me to the place that I'm at right now. And the more faithful we are, if this is true, if the faithfulness of a person brings more of the blessings that are coming out, the enemy is trying to disrupt our faithfulness so we can go back to our old life, do things we need to do, and then the blessings stop because the blessing is the free fall of God's favor resting upon our life, changes dimensions in our life, showing us that you can be debt free, Ron. Your house can be paid in full. It's not something you just say because the world says you got to work 40 years to pay off this loan or 30 years to pay off. God said we're going to cut it off in 15 years. When God tells you something through the faithfulness and the relationship, you know what? Things start to, reformation starts taking place. There's a shifting that takes place. Amen. Matter of fact, you'll get up and you'll feel better than you ever felt before in your own entire life. You can see things differently because you know God is what he's not so much in heaven he's now here working with me and now when there is difficulty in front of me now I realize because of my faithfulness that ties me to the relationship and the relationship ties me to Jesus and who is the conqueror of the world and now all powers in his hand in the world not so much in heaven but in the world so that means whatever I need to do today amen and do tomorrow he's already got it laid out for me because what he knows what I need even before I even ask because what he knows that he's tied me to what God the father and because God is our father we should not be stuck on negative we should not be stuck on stupid. We should not be stuck on complaining. We should be stuck on confessing and believing. You know what? I'm coming up out of this thing. I'm believing God for the best. I am so close to something I believe God for that looked humanly impossible. But because of my steadfastness, my singleness of mind, my, my purpose in life, amen, is not to please everybody, but to please him. Praise God. And if I stay on this road called faithfulness, if I stay on this road to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, keeping my heart right, keeping my mind right, keep my walk right, keep my mouth right, doing it every day. There's blessings and rewards that will come from the result. Of it. And I'm here to tell you, praise God, I'm pressing in even that more. It's more because God says He wants to bless His children. He wants to bless you so much that you can have things paid in full. When everybody else is in debt, your stuff is paid off. He can bless you so much that somebody can give you a scholarship and you didn't even apply for it. He can bless you so much that you're not waking up in the morning wearing out. Does somebody love you or don't love you because you're in love with who He calls you to be? There's a place in God where you just leave the world system. Even though you're in the world, you're not of the world. You're not looking for somebody to tell you to feel good and look good and smell good. You already know you. You're already good. Glory to God. And walking in the things of God. I'm here to tell you today, you need to be encouraged. You need to fight for your steadfastness. Some of you ain't been to church in a long time. You need to get back in church. Get up off your lazy self and get in the house of God and hear the word of God. Make yourself go hear the word. Quit looking at who got this on, get that on. Get some word inside of you and believe God for the best. Because when they tell you no. God can stand up in the midst and say, turn that thing around. And then you might not even know how he done it, but you just feel so good that he's done it. Why? Because he's God the Father. He wants everybody in here to be blessed. And you got to have a mindset for that. Yeah. Somebody said, well, I ain't going anymore because I don't like, that ain't why we going. Right. Well, they don't have no praise. That ain't why we here. Well, I, don't, I can't get along with something. You ain't supposed to be here for nobody. He said, my sheep will hear my voice. And a stranger, they shall not follow. Your life will take on different. Even the young people here, your life will take on a different formation. Quit looking at your parents. Don't let them be the judge of the word. 
Because sometimes they may be off. But that don't mean you got to be off. Stay attached to the word. And the word is a vehicle to help you have victory over things. I just recently, and I'm closing. Sometimes God will take you back of difficult times in your life where you did too much thinking and you made a mess of things. I did that a lot. Then it comes to a point where you just get sick and tired of being sick and tired. I said, I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of saying I don't have no money. I got tired of it. Then I, I got enough strength in me. I said, God. I said, can you help me? But my mentality about money. Because my mentality tells me I can't buy this. I can't have this. Because everything is predicated on how much is in my pocket. So I'm tired of that. I said, can you help rearrange this mindset? And you know what? The Bible said we pray anything according to his will. He said he hear of us and give us the petition. That he had. It's his will for me to think a different thought. Remember I said something and somebody got, got happy about it. I got the thought from, from Gale- uh, Matthew chapter number 6 when it talks about uh, 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his right and all these other things he'll add unto you. So he said, food, raiment, clothing. He said he would do all that. You mean to tell me? And God said, you work so hard to get what you, he said, you work so hard to get it. He said, but you need to work your faith to get it. I said, work my faith to get it. I said, what are you talking about? He said, do you believe? The first question is, do you believe? And you know how we flippantly say, oh, yeah, I believe. Then he said, oh, well, I'm going to test you. Then if you say you believe, do this. And then we, but you know what? Once you do it, God has a way of showing you you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Does he just lay it all out to you like that? No, because he knows that you're going to get it and go. Give you just enough so you can keep walking. You know how good that blessing was that you received? This is what we do. We get stuck in it. Woo! And God said, there's more. There's more. Touch somebody and say, there's more. Touch them and say, can you believe God for it? Because believing God for it moves you to the point of you meditating on it. There's not a day I get up. The things I told you I'm close to, there's not a day that once I got it in my spirit, I seen it. When I seen it, I start speaking. it. And then this recently, God showed me where I was in my progression of this. Because some of y'all just went out. No, you're going to have to you're going to have to walk it out. Because I made a bad decision, economic decision, and I want God to take it away. He said, no, if I take it away, you ain't going to learn the pain of your choices. He said, but if you do this, you're going to come out. And recently I looked, I did the math on it, figured it out. I said, Phew. I was thinking last night, I said, what I'm paying you and paying you and paying you. I said, my God. Can I, I said, God, I, look what I can do with that money. I'm looking forward to do something with that money. Can you imagine coming to service and Pastor Ron passing out hundred dollar bills? I hear chat. Oh, Pastor, they lined up at the door. They come up in here. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, touch your neighbor. Say, if you can believe God for it, the next step is to ask Him for it. Scripture said, is anything too hard for God? He said, anything too hard for God. So now I'm here to tell you, even with the young people, we will not 
get what God has for us unless you're faithful. We got to get past young people. I'm here because my, my, my mom, my dad told me I had to be here. And then you wearing all on your face. We got to get past that and get something for you because when it's all over with, you're going to need some faith in God for you, where you're going. Because time you get around all your peer people and all the, the other people, they're trying to advance just like you are. Somebody needs the advantage. The advantage comes through God. My nephew plays for the NFL. I had a meeting with him. He was good in high school. Being good in high school, getting all the accolades, that's one level. They said every level there's some resistance. And if you ain't fit for it, you're going to live in the prime of your high school, uh, whatever you did, but you will never enter into the NFL unless you have proper understanding that how you're going to get to that next level is what brought you to that level that you're in now. And people are parading around him, telling him how, how blessed he is. And all that. He knows when his mind, he has ability that God's given him, but the ability to test to God makes him to continue to move on. So I told him, I had to ask a question with him. And I, 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 you know, I just asked him a simple question. Because he's getting ready to get drafted. I said, why do you want to go to the NFL? He looked at me. Nobody asked that question. Everybody's telling you, you know, hey, you're going, oh man, praise God. Da, da, da. There's purpose behind why you want what you want. Yeah. I want to come out of debt, number one, so that I can pay more to the ministry. My desire is to get half of my salary back to the ministry. Can you imagine that? I ain't going to go there. I could. Then y'all be hating on me. <laughs> that would. Some people hate because they, they don't have belief for it. Yeah, yeah. You, and then they think you, you, you're showing off. No, I'm using my faith. Yeah. Because if you got to get past that, because if you don't, you're not getting where you need. I asked him, well, why do you want to be in the NFL? Then he told me his story. I said, hmm. Because the story wasn't about him. It's about taking care of his brother. Taking, about some, taking care of somebody else. Because anytime you're in God's purpose, it's always about somebody other than you, and you're the vehicle God's going to use, God's going to use you then. But if you just want to have earrings in your ear, looking all pretty and cute, and the camera in your face, and all that stuff, God said, you'll go so far, and I'll let you go on, because I ain't going where you're going, and you're not going to accomplish where you need to go, because it's all about you, and not about God. Tell somebody, say, it's got to be about God. I'm saying that today to kind of encourage you and even the young people here today. I don't want to talk with nobody over, over your head. I'm talking real, real things here today. Something that's going to help make you advance. Something going to get you to advance and not just get a little bit of victory and just stop. Because I'm satisfied with that little comfort that I have. Listen, it's right about us helping the needs of other people and blessing people. That's why I'm so thankful for those that brought clothing in here for Africa. Because why? You can look at the pictures out there. Some people are scared to look at the pictures. Well, he went over there. He, 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 who he think he is? Look, it ain't about Ron Hairston. It's about the purpose. You have purpose in your life, and God said he wants you to live better than anybody on your street, not because of you, the children, that when you get up every morning and go to church and they're sleeping, God rewards. Amen. If they're not working last week, don't mean it ain't going to happen next week. What? Because we keep believing. Stay on your feet for a minute. I'm saying.
Thank you for listening to today's message. We hope and pray the Word of God has blessed your life richly. If you would like to learn more about our church, please visit us in person at 2703 Northland Plaza in Columbus, Ohio, 43231. If you would like to sow a seed or make a donation, please feel free to mail it at the same location. If you would also like to learn more about our church and hear one of our messages or more encouraging words and cannot visit us in person, please visit one of our social media sites. Our church is on Facebook. You can visit our Kingdom Faith International Christian Center Facebook page. We're also on Twitter. The handle is at Kingdom Faith INT. We are also on Instagram. The handle is Kingdom Faith INT LCC. And lastly, we are also on YouTube. Please type in Kingdom Faith International Christian Center on YouTube.com to see more of our messages that are posted. Again, may God bless you and prosper you in all you do. In Jesus' name, be blessed.